much more powerful. It's used in millions of websites and will allow us to create our rich, complex web applications much more easily than just using straight JavaScript. Let's have a quick look. Before we dive in, let's have a quick look at some of the things that you can do with jQuery. Okay, so this is the jQuery homepage. This is where you can download jQuery. It's completely free, completely open source. This is um, a plugin called the jQuery UI or jQuery user interface. We're going to be looking at this in some detail in this chapter because it's a great example of a jQuery plugin and it enables you to create flexible and interactive web applications. A couple of quick examples here. We've got a draggable element here, which I can just drag around the screen very easily. We've got droppable elements where you can drag them to a particular target. We've got things like the accordion, which enables you to have various sections of text or content, which then appear and disappear as required. And there's a lot more there that we'll have a look at in greater detail later on. Just to show you a couple of other jQuery plugins that are quite fun, hook.js uses jQuery to um, pull to refresh. You've probably used this in a mobile application. You can recreate this on the web now using this plugin. If I then scroll to the top, it will refresh the page for me. So that's a way to make your website a little bit more interactive and work a little bit more like a native um, mobile app. A couple of others, Tooltipster. Tooltips are very handy little um, mini pop-ups that you see when you hover over certain elements. They're a great way to make your web application more usable and more user-friendly. Okay, pop-ups are an extremely popular way to interact with users and give users a better experience. Just to give a couple of examples from this magnificent pop-up plugin, we can just click on an image there and it pops up in its nice um, own box where you can close it down like that and there's various different ways that you can use this to show videos or login forms or whatever you might want. A couple more. jQuery sliders are very popular. Unslider is a nice simple plugin. You've probably seen sliders like this before but it makes creating them extremely easy. And last, um, we've got Type Ahead. I'm sure you've used this in Google and other search engines. When you start typing, it predicts what you want. We can do the same thing here. I type a little bit of text and it um, predicts what, what American state I'm trying to, to find in this case. So we'll look at all of these in this chapter, but hopefully I've given you a bit of a flavor of what jQuery is about, what we can use it for, and why it's worth learning.